On the last day of summer, ten hours before fall, my grandfather took me out to the wall. For a while, he stood silent. Then finally he said with a very bad shake of his very old head, as you know, on this side of the wall, we are Ukes. On the far side of the wall, live the Zooks. Then my grandfather said, it's high time that you knew of the terribly horrible thing that Zooks do. In every Zook house and in every Zook town, every Zook eats his bread with his butter side down. But we yukes, as you know, when we breakfast or sup, spread our bread, Grandpa said, with the butter side up. That's the right honest way, Grandpa gritted his teeth. So you can't trust a zook who spreads bread underneath. Every zook must be watched. He has kinks in his soul, and that's why, as a youth, I made watching my goal. Watching zooks for the zook watching border patrol. In those days, of course, the wall wasn't so high, and I could look any zook square in the eye. If he dared to come close, I would give him a twitch with a tough tufted prickly sitch berry switch. And I'd say for a while that worked fine, all the zooks stayed away, and our country was safe till one terrible day, a very rude zook by the name of Van Itch snuck up and slingshotted my snitchberry snitch. With my broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Euchers, Eucheru, in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled, he said, oh, you're not to blame. And those zooks will be story, sorry they started this game. We'll dress you up right in a fancier suit. We'll give you a fancier slingshot to shoot. And he ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build me some sort of triple sling jigger. With my triple sling jigger, I felt much, much bigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and great vigor, right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown, with zooks who eat their bread with their butter side down. I need your help. Their butter side down. Oh, Van Itch looked quite sickly, and he ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day in a spiffy new suit with a big new machine and he snarled as he said looking frightfully mean <laughs> you may fling those hard rocks with your triple sling jigger but I also have now my hand on the trigger my wonderful weapon the jigger rock snatch them we'll fling them right back just as quick as we catch them we'll have no more nonsense we'll take no more gup from you zooks who eat your bread with your butter side up. Oh, I failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yukaru in the headquarters fort. But he just laughed. Oh, you have done nothing of the sort. Our slingshots have failed. That was old fashioned stuff. Slingshots, dear boy, are not modern enough. All we need is some newfangled kind of gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think of a walloping whiz jigger one. Oh, those boys in the back room sure knew how to putter. They made a flying machine called the Utterly Sputter. And I jumped aboard with my heart all aflutter and I steered toward the land of upside down butter. Well, this machine was so modern, so frightfully new, no one quite exactly just knew what it would do. It had several faucets that sprinkled blue goo 
which somehow would sprinkle the zooks as I flew and the gum and then gum up that upside down butter they chew. I was racing pell-mell when I heard a voice yell, Oh, if you zooks, if you sprinkle us zooks, you'll get sprinkled as well. Van Itch had a sputter exactly like mine. And he yelled, My blue gooer is working just fine. And I'm here to say that if yooks can goo zooks, you'd better forget it. Cause zooks can goo yooks. I flew right back home, and as you may have guessed, I was downright despondent, disturbed, and depressed. Have no fears, said the chief. Everything will be all right. My bright boy, backroom boys, have been brighter than bright. And my boy, smiled the chief, Yukaru. We've all just voted and made you a general, and now you've been promoted. When your new uniform is ready, get in it. Quick, get in it. The big war is coming and you're going to begin it. And what's more, this time you are certain to win it. Here, take this gadget, gadget that's newer than new. It's filled with mysterious moo, lack of moo, and can blow all those zooks clear to Salamagoo. We call it the bitsy big boy bomberoo. You just run to the wall like a nice little man, drop this bomb on the zooks just as fast as you can. I've ordered all the yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boomeroo is around. As I raced for that wall with the bomb in my hand, I noticed that every last zook in our land was obeying our chief zookaroo's grim command. They were all bravely marching with batters a flutter, down a hole for their country, and right side up butter. That's when my grandfather found me. He grabbed me, he said. You should be down that hole, and you're up here instead. I know I do. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history right here and right now. Grandpa. He leapt up the wall with a lopulous leap and he cleared his horse throat with a bopulous beep. He screamed, here's to the end of that terrible town full of zooks who will eat butter. No, who eat bread with their butter. Oh, down. And at that very instant, we heard a clop, clop. A feet on the wall and old Van Itch clopped up. The boys in his back room had made him one too. In his fist was another big boy, Boomeroo. I'll blow you, he yelled, into pork and wee beans. I'll butter side up you to small smithereens. <gasps> Grandpa, I shouted, be careful, oh gee. Who's going to drop it? Will you or will he? Be patient, and Grandpa. We'll see. We'll see. That's the end of the story. It's kind of a cliffhanger, isn't it? <laughs> That's kind of what Julie and Kathy were talking about. It's kind of a cliffhanger. What do you think might happen? Maybe, I think they're still holding them, maybe. And they're still deciding. Yeah? Do you ever have arguments with your brothers and sisters that get bigger and bigger and escalate? Or you're with friends that start little, just about something little, and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger? Yeah. Sometimes it's good to stop and go, let's take a breath. Let's take a pause. <laughs> so, you'll notice.